Welcome back to The Haunted Beard, everybody. My name is Jake. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to give you my review for the sci-fi horror film Divinity. And this is a film that actually premiered at the Sundance Film Festival or earlier this year, back in January. And I remember seeing the trailer for it earlier this year, and it immediately grabbed my interest. Just the visual presentation of it looked something pretty interesting and bizarre. And so I was pretty hyped for this one, and it just became available to watch on demand, and I gave it a watch, wanted to give you my thoughts, so let's get into it. Divinity centers on two mysterious brothers who abduct a mogul during his quest for immortality. Meanwhile, a seductive woman helps them launch a journey of self-discovery. And as you can tell just from seeing little glimpses of the trailer, this is being sold as a pretty bizarre and edgy sci-fi horror film with just a very unique and different style presentation to it. And I was on board for the visuals. The visuals definitely stand out. They're definitely unique. It was actually shot on 16 millimeter film. And so in addition to the very stark contrast, black and white presentation to it, it, it has this sort of you know, unique visual look to it with it being shot on film. It has this sort of grainy textural quality to it. And so overall, it's just very visually pleasing to the eye. And there's a particular sequence that stood out to me later on in the movie. And I won't get into any spoilers or specifics, but there's this fight scene. And the movie literally turns into this like claymation stop motion animation sequence and it's it's edited in in shot to look like a like a Mortal Kombat style video game, and it is pretty impressive. I thought it just looked fantastic, it, just a, a really kind of inventive, unique sequence, something that I've never really seen before. I was really impressed with it. Unfortunately, that is where my praise ends, though, with Divinity. And I'm about to use a phrase that gets probably overused when people are talking about movies, but. It really fits the bill as I think this is another example of style over substance. The movie starts off, we're introduced to Scott Bakula, who is this scientist who is trying to develop some sort of serum for immortality to eliminate death. And then that pursuit is continued on by his son, Jackson Pierce is the character name, played by Stephen Dorff. And he's really the, the main character in the film that we focus mostly on as he has become rich because he's been able to produce this serum, this anti-aging serum that has allowed people to live forever. And so we're introduced to this world where the majority of the population lives for their own pleasure. It's this very hedonistic type of lifestyle and they don't age. So they just get to maintain their youth and they, people do just whatever they want to do. They live for themselves, whatever feels good. And so we really get a lot of sequences involving that. And then we're introduced to these two brothers. They are walking through the desert on their way to Stephen Dorff's house. They show up, they end up taking him hostage. And in an attempt to punish him, they try to overdose him on his own supply of divinity, which is the anti-aging serum. And as good as this film looks visually and how unique it is and how much it stands out and sets itself apart from other films, like I said, there's just a lot of style here, but not really much substance. And there are a handful of sequences that just feel like they're trying to be kind of edgy and provocative just simply for the sake of being edgy and provocative. There are definitely aspects of it that feel like it's a edited in such a way to look like a music video. Heck, there are even scenes that reminded me of some of those Giorgio Armani commercials. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're like basically the people that wear next to nothing. It's all in black and white, and they're all these really, you know, physically attractive people. That's kind of the sort of vibe I was getting throughout a good amount of this movie. And overall, I just found it really lacking in terms of characters and story. There's really not a whole lot of story here. Not a whole lot really happens. There's not really much to the characters. We don't get to learn much about them. They're, they're not really very interesting. The performances are fine. They're serviceable. And the movie kind of introduces some thought-provoking ideas and concepts but it never really spends any time delving into them or fleshing them out or developing them in any sort of way. It's just kind of like there's a little conversation where somebody says something. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. 
And then that's really all there is. Like I said, it starts off with that question, is death just simply an illusion? And it's like, okay, that, you know, we're kind of getting philosophical here, but it doesn't really do anything with any of those thought provoking ideas. So I was editing this video and I thought of something else that I just wanted to add real quick to my review that I didn't want to go set up all my stuff all over again. But uh, this is a film too that I, I have to say though, I'm glad it exists. And I'm always one who wants to promote and champion unique and ambitious and original stuff. And this definitely fits that bill. It just, to me, like I said, does feel like a lot of style over substance, but I'm always, you know, I'm glad when directors can just simply make the movies they want to make for better or for worse. And this is definitely a unique vision. I'm glad it exists. Um, I want to see more from Eddie Alcazar, who's the director of this film. And I just think if he could get a little bit of, of a story underneath him, this guy could really make something pretty spectacular. Ultimately, I felt like the film has as much meaning and depth as the hedonistic lifestyle that it frequently portrays, which is really to say it left me feeling pretty empty and unsatisfied. This is not a movie that really has a compelling story compelling characters and it doesn't really do anything with some of the themes and ideas that it brings up and so ultimately it's just a pretty empty surface level shallow experience overall so uh, unfortunately yeah that's what I thought of Divinity was a little bit of a letdown and a disappointment on this one but oh well that's just how it goes sometimes so I'm gonna go like a four out of ten I think for Divinity so those are my thoughts like always hit me up down below would love to hear your thoughts if you've seen this and and what you thought of it. So let me know. Look forward to hearing from you. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Haunted Beard.